How's it? Today is October 16th. It's Friday. So I got some heavy lifts today. Just three attempts each at 95 and 125. So last week I did 92 and 122. And I think last week I made every single lift. Last week felt really, really good. So I was hoping that this week would be the same. Um, to rehash, uh, last week Saturday I did something super dumb. And I hurt my shoulder pretty bad. Or at least in the moment it felt pretty bad. I couldn't, like, when I took my shirt off it was hurting. That's to the extent of the pain. Um, I was doing ring dips. Um, I'm probably never going to do those again. It was a muscle up for the ring dip. But, um, yeah, today went pretty well, actually. I'm pretty happy with how it went. 95, 125. Those are weights that um, I normally don't hit all three of the snatches or all three of the cleaning jerks. Uh, spoiler alert, I hit three snatches and only one uh, cleaning jerk. I didn't miss any of the cleans, but I missed both of the first two jerks. Um, but yeah, a little bit more about the, how the snatches have been feeling. These snatches, uh, were just, I just felt really on it. Like, felt like my power was there. My positioning was there. My timing was there. It felt really solid. That was only 60. So th this 70 here, it's the last power I do, but that felt really snappy. And so all of the lifts after that felt pretty spot on as well. And then I move into singles uh, for 80, 85, 90, and then hit the numbers at 95. I just felt really fast. Um, I think the one thing that I've been, I've been thinking about for the snatches is just to maintain long arms. It doesn't really look like I'm, I'm doing that, but that's the one cue that I was thinking about today. So even there, 90s usually doesn't feel like that. 90 usually feels a little bit softer, a little bit timing, a little bit worse. But yeah, so that one, I was a little bit on my toes from the, the ground and, and I tried to fix it on the next two. And I believe I do fix it on this one. A little soft there, but um, it just feels snappier, feels stronger, feels faster. So, there we go. This is one of the, the best snatch days I've had in a really long time. Like, uh, 95 is right around 95%, you know? So I had uh, three singles at 95, which is, um, as far as consistency goes, that's very huge for me. So I moved into cleaning jerks here. And Steve was mentioning earlier when I did uh, talk to him that a lot of my dips for the power jerk, my knees um, kind of track a little bit too far forward. And so what that creates is a little, my hip sometimes uh, drifts forward. And so the bar has to either go really far back to, to fix that, or the bar is just gonna go forward. You know, like, so my hips are gonna move forward then the bar needs to go um, over the center of gravity to fix that, or it's gonna follow my hips because that's basically where my center of gravity is and it um, was really challenging so I was working on these pause pause in the dip so right here this is my last uh, pause in the dip and then a regular dip and it did help quite a bit um, but the thing that I've been dealing with is that like if I load my hips and my 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 glutes a little bit then my dip becomes slow and if my dip is slow, then a lot of times my positioning gets is off. So I I think I just need to work on that a little bit. Um, it was the reason why I missed the first two jerks. And it was also the reason why I made the third jerk. So that was that. Here's a 110. This is probably that was one of the stronger cleans I had for the day. Also one of the stronger jerks I had for the day. I moved to 120. Last week I did 110, 115, 120. And this 120 clean was a little soft. It felt like um, 
I just have to sneak under. The jerk here is really uh, was really good though, as far as that hip, the hip shift that I I was talking about earlier. And so I moved into my first 125. Clean was very similar to the 120, where I didn't get proper extension. I was a little bit on my toes there. And so that um, caused my extension to be a little bit wacky. And then I did that same thing that I was talking about with that hip shift and the jerk dip. Here's a little better clean. I think if if I hold on a little bit longer, my extension would be significantly better. But that um, hindsight is 2020. That one I think wasn't as bad as the first dip. It just didn't have the strength there, I think. Shorted my extension, but it was okay. It was better positioning overall. Um, yeah, and then my hips look significantly better. The bar goes up uh, a lot straighter. I'm pretty disappointed with how that happened, considering how I was warming up. And I was well aware of the issue, but um, the cleans felt okay. The jerk misses were consistent. Um, you know, like they were consistent in that one technique fault that I, I've been experiencing. So that's really, um, I think that's a positive sign. Being consistent, like consistently bad is better than being inconsistent, so. After that, I moved into that pause front squat with three second negative uh, plus the front squat. Steve did mention that the three second negative doesn't need to be three seconds exactly. It just that he doesn't want me to just do regular tempo all the way down, but. I figured three seconds is a good goal to hit. And so last week I went to 125 for one set. This week I did 128 for two sets. The pause is really strong. It feels good. And then this front squat here, my you see my, my lumbar kind of just caves. It happens on both of the sets. But the, the pause... And the, the negative with the pause is, is really strong. I think it's just a fatigue thing. Watch where my belt is here. There you see that. And then to finish off, I just do um, those light pull-ups with a stretch at the bottom. I only did three sets, three sets of five. But yeah, pretty, pretty damn happy with how today went. All things considered, right? That shoulder injury. And 95%-ish on both of the lifts for... Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching. Shoots.